Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got Smartphone Revolution V4. Yes, it is in its fourth iteration now. The previous build which I reviewed was the initial one, the first one of the bad and this has uh, improved like really, really for the best. So, um, the basic thing about the ROM. Now, this one is based on uh, MK6. That is XXUGM K6, which was released by Samsung uh, a couple of days back to um, address the issues with the official release of MJ9 4.3 Android. So, uh, what are change? Like you might have seen that um, I turn off the screen, right? Press the home button. The lock screen lag has reduced considerably, so that's definitely a plus. Now you see the launcher here, right? Great. First thing you'll notice here in the status bar is that the clock is in the left hand side rather than right hand side so that's a modification. Uh, this ROM incorporates a lot of things from other ROMs like Sense. Uh, you have the icons here which are modeled after Sense uh, from the HTC. The clock is in the other side which I guess is a tweak, graphical tweak. It's pretty awesome. And yes, the uh, I, the toggles are blue colored rather than green, which I am a fan of, uh, which is a deviation from the Samsung's way of doing it. So there, there are a lot of things about this ROM. First and foremost is that this is only a 600 meg ROM. That means it doesn't have any bloatware. You'll see that in a minute. Boom. It doesn't have any bloatware, just the basic stuff. You have all these, that's it. You don't have nothing extra. So it does. Uh, he does provide the developer Ricky three one seven one. I guess uh, he does provide a bloatware installation aroma package. You can download that and select what all bloatware you want if you are a fan of that. So it doesn't actually um, make a huge loss for you to use this ROM. Um, what else do we have? Let's go to settings. Now settings are the in the typical four point three uh, style tabbed settings panel. So there's nothing much to talk about. Let's go to about device, which is slightly tweaked. So you can see it is Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. So yeah, it is that. Now we have uh, the phone is 9300 International S3. You have Android version 4.3. Yes, finally, and baseband version is XXUGM K6, which is the latest version by Samsung. So we have this, and I do feel yes, this is the developer that is three, uh, Ricky three one zero seven double one. Yes, it is in f uh, version four beta. Name is Smartphone Revolution ROM. So yes, uh, now what I wanted to talk about the MK six version was indeed an improvement over MJ nine, and I have used this as my daily driver for one day, and I feel that. Um, while 4.3 MK6 is still an improvement, it's not something which I want. I want it from a big manufacturer like Samsung. And all, uh, and uh, together with S3, one of their flagship phones for last year, their flagship phone for last year, uh, they have released a, I would say, undercooked uh, firmware for our phone. But still, MK6 does provide a large um, bridge for to close up the gap. Uh, I, but I still believe 4.2.2 was a bit more um, usable than 4.3 but in no way is 4.3 really unusable like uh, beta version no nothing like that you can still use it but you have to sacrifice a bit of speed and uh, yes that's it so <laughs> I'm just getting that out of the way this does have smartphone functionality like in the S4 so you can go to smart screen you do have all both of these both of these are normal uh, Samsung S3 features now smart pause from S uh, Note 3 and smart scroll they both work I have uh, made a video in the I guess for um, S4 revolution ROM it is there in uh, that also it does work no problems in that so that's pretty cool what else do we have um, the rest of the things are pretty uh, simple. You do have all of the options which are available for Samsung Galaxy S3 as stock ROM. Everything which a stock ROM is expected to have is in here. Uh, it doesn't have all the bloatware as I said. It doesn't have Samsung installer. You can install that 
separately from the installer version. It doesn't have an aroma package because this is so small. Everything which you need are in here. So that's uh, pretty much sums it. I'll show you guys what all the other features does this have. So yeah, uh, you can see this one I have already read in my previous review. Here is the um, features. Okay, so it is based on MK6. Very awesome. Uh, everything is fast. INITD support. BCBox rooted, fully deplotted. Fully deplotted. That is like completely deplotted. You don't have any Samsung apps. That's pretty cool. FM radio is there. Blue theme notification to uh, toggle, four way reboot, etc. Sense 5 battery. That's what you saw there. Um, edited. Un, uh, face unlock that's something awesome you uh, if you use face unlock from the old days of uh, Android 4.0 uh, you do have smoother transparency so that's uh, pretty cool and we're charging icon one person battery mode like it does have the percentage it does show the percentage of battery modified app icons all these icons are modified to look after 4.4 look like 4.4 music player Yes, 3D metal camera buttons, etc., etc. Aggression mod. This uh, developer does have his own mod, which was released released for uh, XXUGMJ9, which considerably made it faster. So this one also incorporates that. It's pretty cool. File manager has been replaced by um, this one, uh, ES File Explorer, which is, in my opinion, the best file explorer which you can buy. Well, it is a free app. That's pretty uh, awesome too. It does have uh, exposed framework from Blockway Installer, unlimited multi-window apps, you do have that. Um, custom video player, uh, smart scroll, okay, he has done that, SD card boosted, read boosted, um, LMK configuration, etc, etc. <laughs> he might have forgot a few things also. Uh, you can see that uh, the Aroma package installer also is featured here, you can see that too. Here it is, all share. All of these can be installed from Blotware Installer. So, yeah, you're not much behind if you want that all. So, yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, the boot animation is similar to the Samsung uh, S3 boot animation. So, I'm not going to show you guys that one. So, yeah, that much is it for the ROM. Um, what else? In the settings, you have all these options. Cool. Um, and one more thing: if you are planning to make a uh, stock ROM based on, uh, like, a daily driver based on stock ROM, this is pretty much one of the best ways to go because this doesn't have any blotter and it lets you choose what all blotter you want. If you want all share, you can just select all share. If you want Bloomberg, you can just select Bloomberg. Whatever you want, you can select the plot where you're installing. Uh, other than that, this is one basic ROM with basic functions. Uh, basic stock functions, of course. It, the stock ROM does have a lot of extra functions like smart scroll and smart functions. So, yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe, like, and share the video if you found it useful. So, see you guys next time. Bye.